Obviously, the heat is building back up tomorrow. We had a very brief break today, uh, temperature wise in some areas. So what are you tracking for us, Brittany? Well, we have another weather alert. It has been extended into tomorrow because the same areas where we had that excessive heat warning today out to the west. Well, you're still under that excessive heat warning through your Thursday at 9 p.m. But then look at this. Now we have a heat advisory throughout the Metroplex as well. So around DFW tomorrow afternoon, we'll feel up to 110 degrees. And then a little bit further out to the west, we're looking at those heat index values getting up to 112. So it is very important to remember those heat safety precautions. And Nicole mentioned that we had a little bit of a break from the heat. Well, look at this. We had 96 to 97 this afternoon. It was a nice reprieve from the 107 that we saw on Monday, but unfortunately our temperatures, they're getting right back into the triple digits, especially as we head into our Friday and then into the weekend. So that's why we have the weather alert for tomorrow because it is once again going to be dangerously hot out there. And even though we're at 11 o'clock tonight, we have clear skies. Denton still sitting at 87 degrees, but feeling like 89. So it's going to be a warm morning as you wake up tomorrow as well. But we are seeing those feels like temperatures at 7 a.m. around 77 in Denton, 75 in McKinney, upper 70s around the DFW. And then as you're headed out to lunch, we're already feeling like the mid 90s in Fort Worth. Still pretty nice in our eastern areas, though, about 84 degrees in Greenville by noon. And then western areas, you guys are already feeling like the mid to upper 90s and it just continues to get hotter from there. By 4 o'clock, we're near 106 to 107 in Fort Worth and Dallas, closer to 108 out to the west in Graham. And unfortunately, we're not going to see any significant changes over the next seven to 10 days. So that means that the elevated fire threat that we've been telling you about the past couple of days, that's also going to be continuing for areas west of 281. No significant rain chances in the forecast. Tomorrow we will wake up to a little bit of cloud cover, maybe an isolated shower trying to develop out west along that stalled out frontal boundary. But a lot of us were just going to see the sunny skies. And then on Friday, models are trying to indicate maybe an isolated shower into East Texas. Texas is still going to have to overcome that sinking air. So maybe just about a 10% chance as we head into our Friday afternoon. But rainfall tolls are not going to be much over the next seven days, maybe a quarter of an inch. Best chances will be into East Texas. But as we get into early next week, we are looking at a little bit more cloud cover moving in. Notice that 10 to 20% rain chance. This is with an area of low pressure that's moving in from the Gulf into South Texas. We'll try and see if some of that moisture can actually make it up here into North Texas.